What's going on everybody? Dean here with RC Driver. Hope you're all having a great day. Short time ago, I was fortunate enough to review the Techno SCT 410 SL short course truck. This super light truck was based on the EB and the ET 410 series of vehicles. A few months before that, I had my hands on the EB 48 2.1. This is a high-end racing A-scale buggy. Super awesome, super fun. Today, what do we have? We've got the Techno SCT 410 2.0. This is a completely new platform, not compatible with anything really on their short course SL, but there's much cross compatibility with the 48 2.1. So while it's a new platform, you can step it up and go pro, so to speak, if you wanna race with the 48 2.1 crossover. So we're gonna pop off the body and go through this truck with a fine tooth comb. All right, let's start off. I have the body, it does not come with a body. We went with a ProLine Flotec short course body. Where did I send it? Of course, to Bradley Farmer at Bradley Fine Line Design. Bradley is the painter to world champions, not an exaggeration there. He is a top of the line painter and he again knocked this out of the park with my colors. So let's take off the body. Starting up front, what do we have? We have got everything overbuilt and super beefy. We've got 13 millimeter shocks. Of course, the bodies are threaded. We've got plastic caps with bleeder screws at the top, making building and rebuilding super easy. The spring perches are captured on the bottom. It's got flat A-arms. It doesn't have the twisted type of A-arms like the 48 2.1. Moving around, again, we've got plastic knuckles and hubs. This is a way to save money, but techno stuff is super durable. Fluid fill diffs front, center, and rear. Comes with all the fluids you need, whether it be shock fluid, diff fluid, it's got your black grease, and it also comes with thread lock when you're building it. And as I said, when you're building it, this, like all other technos, is a kit. So again, staying up front, we've got this beefy front bumper reinforced right here. You hit something, not much is gonna go wrong. Techno uh, rims on this truck. I love the design Techno did, and I went with some Pro-Line tires. This is a soft compound tire. We went with the whole shot. Justin Allen at RC Madness told me this was the hot go-to tire. Working our way back, we got the steering bell crank set up. Unlike the SL truck, that has the reverse type bell crank. This has a more standard type of bell crank. We've got adjustments in the bell crank. Of course, we've got adjustable turnbuckles all the way around on this. Going from the bell crank, it comes with a steel servo arm with a standard 25 tooth spline. We went with an incredibly powerful HSB 9381TH servo from High Tech. This has titanium gears. It has an insane amount of speed and an insane amount of torque. Again, we went with some awesome Tekken electronics as well, a Gen 3 RX-8 and a 4300 KB Pro 4 HD motor. Again, as we're working our way back, they went with the motor mount that has the pre-drilled holes. While that does make changing your pinion gear a little inconvenient, you gotta be honest, how often are you changing your pinion gear? You read your manual, you find out what pinion gear based on your voltage of your battery and the KB of your motor, and you tend not to change it. So while I could give Techno a, a hit, so to speak, for not having the slide type of motor mount, this truck is more of a pro basher. You're gonna probably bash it, but if you decide to race it, there's lots of upgrades that we're gonna get to in a little bit. And even better, this whole area is enclosed. With just six screws, you can take out the diff to change the fluid. Super easy, well-designed motor mount and diff system. And again, if you are gonna take the motor out, um, you do have to take a few screws out of the bottom to get at it, but not a big deal. Got a Velcro battery strap over here, really adjustable whether you're running a 2, 3, or 4S battery, and your receiver is held right here, completely sealed from the elements. Um, should have said this before, we got this long dog bone that takes power from your center differential all the way to the front. Again, oversized bearings throughout, again, gear diff up front. Okay, going to the back, we've got this small universal which takes power to the back differential. Again, fluid field gear diff. We also have our chassis brace right here, helps get rid of flex. Um, didn't say this before, we got our sway bar in the back. We also have the sway bar up front. Um, again, looking at the back, beefy suspension arms, beefy hubs in the rear. Uh, unlike the uh, EB48 2.1 and the ET48, the hubs do not have the adjustable inserts but there are universal drive shafts all the way around on this truck. 
Um, so super overbuilt. So let's talk about some other interesting facts. Again, I said this is a new platform, but it's got much cross compatibility. Your A, B, C, and D suspension blocks, they're all static. You don't have pills for adjustments. Uh, it looks like a plastic block, but in fact, there is a metal bar inside. So it's lightweight, it bolts to the chassis, and it's super durable. But should you want to upgrade to those A, B, C, and D blocks from the EB48 2.1, they will work on here. In fact, the way this long wear four millimeter chassis is designed, you can essentially use the entire front and rear clips from your EB48 2.1 on this. So like I said, this is almost like a pro basher. You get it, you can go and bash it, but if you wanna race, there are so many parts already available from Techno. You can bring this thing real quick if you wanna drop a lot of money fast to the next level, or slowly start converting this over to a full on race vehicle. Talk about the aftermarket parts. Again, there's a lot of EB48 2.1 parts directly from the buggy that will come right over to this. If you're one of those basher types and you're gonna send this over big jumps and everything else, Techno also makes an optional front to rear brace, which is gonna really add stiffness to the chassis and prevent it from crumbling. Again, Techno stuff is built super durable. Again, four millimeter chassis, four millimeter shock towers, beefy bumpers, beefy body mounts. But again, if you're gonna be one of the crazy bashers, I would definitely suggest getting that brace that goes from your front to back just to keep it a little bit stiffer. Um, couple other things, uh, again, this is a pro basher going for about $470, $480. Um, it's got the sway bars, unlike the EB48 2.1 race buggy, those sway bars ride on bushings, not bearings. The diffs, again, super durable on this truck, fluid filled, I think I've said that a few too many times at this point. And again, it's got the motor mount that has the static, you know, pre-drilled mounts. We've got a 16 tooth pinion on our Tekin 4300 KV motor. I love how sealed this is. There's gonna be limited, just super fine particulate of dirt and debris getting in here. You're not gonna have to worry about a rock ending your day from ruining your spur gear. So again, with our Pro-Line tires, our Tekin running gear, our high-tech servo, we are finally ready to get this thing dirty like our SCT 410 SL and our EB 48 2.1.
the Techno SCT 410 2.0 is all that and a whole lot more. We're super impressed with this truck. For a short course truck, it jumps really well. We tested it on a day that's mid 60s, but quite a bit of wind, so it did have some of that parachuting effect that you saw in the video. But again, when the wind had died down, we had perfect control over it. As you might have seen, the rear body mounts broke. I want you to know those are not the stock rear body mounts. And this is something that I have mentioned to Techno. This is the Flowtech body. There really is no body guide for the, the, this Techno truck. So I got the Protech, uh, the excuse me, the Flowtech body lined up the, you know, lined it up for the wheel wells, popped the holes in the front. The way the body mounts were in the back, they didn't come through high enough um, where that little bump is that re, you know, in the back of the body. So I 3D printed some that had a, a taller mount, so to speak, to go through that area. Again, 3D printed mounts, they broke. Um, so depending on the body you use, you might want to pick yourself up some offset body mounts that Techno already offers. Had I had the time, I would have definitely had those sent to me. So I would be using a much stronger, more durable mount. But in the short amount of time we had to get this video done, I just found a file online, made it some quick edits, 3D printed it. And again, that file, that uh, part did hold up for about half of our testing. And I used some regular PLA. So if you've got some nylon or ABS carbon infused uh, materials, it probably would have held up. Super fun to drive, super planted, really impressed with how it rotated around the corners. Uh, Justin Allen, again, I mentioned him earlier, he suggested these tires, he drove it. He is uh, one of the hot shoes at RC Madness, super impressed. So again, like a short course truck, depending on the wind, you're gonna get some of that parachuting, even though we vented the body here in the back a little bit. Um, we crashed it quite a few times, you know, with that parachuting over some of the bigger jumps. And again, those jumps were pretty big. Um, we even hit the drone and uh, the drone had a broken prop, but no worse for wear for the drone or the SCT 410 2.0. So if, if you're looking to bash or you're looking to race and you want to go short course, you've, you've got to consider this your top option. It truly is the cream of the crop as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Randy Macho Man Savage probably would approve. Yeah. I want to thank you for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit that notifications icon and drop us a comment below. Are you a short course truck fan? Are you a techno fan? Uh, what do you think of this truck? Are you going to get one yourself?